Let's unplug. So, there you go. One minute longer to charge, but half the price. Hi and welcome to another Coffee and Kilowatts number 12. It's on per kilowatt hour pricing. As you probably know from previous videos or just watching the news, we have uh, Electrify America moving to per kilowatt hour pricing now in 23 states and the District of Columbia. 27 still remaining on per minute pricing, but those are likely to be lobbied and eventually we expect to see them going to per kilowatt hour pricing as well. So the first thing that I wanted to cover was uh, what's the difference between the per minute states, which got quite a decent little uh, price clip, and the per kilowatt hour states, which actually have gone up for vehicles like the Bolt EV. So our test at uh, one state, Connecticut, where they have per kilowatt hour uh, pricing, and our state, Massachusetts, where we're still on per minute, kind of yield some interesting results. close now on 15 kilowatt hours stop so 17 minutes 465 for the charging fee we'll ignore the tax because we want the charging fee for the moment so 15 kilowatt hours 32 percent to 55 percent we'll try and do the same in Massachusetts Okay, so this is station three. Twenty five per cent. So it doesn't necessarily matter if we're not quite at the same charge rate, even if we're a kilowatt or two off compared to the session in Connecticut, uh, because I'm pretty sure this is going to be a decent chunk cheaper and it will show the disparity between the per minute pricing states, at least in a Bolt EV or anything that charges similar speed versus the uh, per kilowatt hour states. Is a very similar end state of charge to the Connecticut session. Power has been a bit lower here, but it'll be comparable once we hit four, uh, 15 kilowatt hours. We'll shut it off. 17 minutes was how long it took in Connecticut. I bet maybe we'll tick up to 18 minutes here. So we're just a minute off. Let's unplug. And there's our final number, 25% to 52%, 15 kilowatt hours, charging fee was $2.17, again we're going to ignore the tax because that's different by state, we just want to look at how much it costs to charge, so two seventeen here, and we will look at Connecticut, but that is going to be at least double because I know it was $4 something, so there you go, one minute longer to charge but half the price. So as you can see from those uh, two sessions, very similar time frames, 17, 18 minutes, just to get that 15 kilowatt hours. But the um, the price is very different. You know, this is going to be a just a temporary disparity really, while other states catch up to per kilowatt hour pricing and actually allow the resale of electricity in some form or another and allow these charging networks, including Tesla, including Electrify America, anyone who wants to go that route to charge by energy rather than time. Those cars that charge, you know, below the 90 kilowatt power level, you're on a pretty good deal, you know, 12 cents per minute. Um, as long as you're gonna charge, you know, that 33 kilowatt hours, 
that make it worth being on a membership plan. That $4 is going to be eaten up pretty quickly by that 33 kilowatt hours. And then after that, you're away to the races. You just got uh, pretty dirt cheap, fast charging. But should it be dirt cheap? That's uh, something to look at here. People often moan about, uh, you know, this is two or three times my domestic rate, my utility at home is much cheaper, or level two charging is much cheaper. Well, that equipment is also a lot cheaper, you know, it's not uh, delivering the same amount of power. You have demand fees to factor in, and they need to recoup this at the end of the day. Electrify America is supposed to become, after its 10-year investment cycle, a standalone business that can uh, profit on itself. The Evolve New York network is being put in with a mind to will have initial free charging uh, as the trial period for a few months, but after that they're going to go to a pricing model which, if not making a huge profit, at least recoups the money as more and more electric vehicles get on the road. So it's something we have to think about. Um, I don't think we should be too stingy in our you know, willingness to pay for DC fast charging. It's a uh, speed issue it's a convenience issue and the equipment is not uh, cheap so let's jump into some of the examples of that look at the local examples and uh, talk about how much we should pay for dc fast charging per kilowatt hour so first uh, if we consider demand charges it's a pretty important part of uh, how these fast charging networks uh, break down their fees. They don't pass these on to the uh, consumer necessarily because they're so huge. But um, there was an example of uh, an occasion earlier this year on Electrify America when three Audi e-trons were charging at the same time, around 150 kilowatts for those cars each. So the, the network could handle it. But, uh, you know, each of those drivers paid roughly $20 for their charging session. But the demand charges for all that power coming out at the same time um, was up to $1,300. So you can see a massive disparity just in that one little example. And if we had, you know, thousands of e-trons on the road, thousands of Taycans, uh, can get up to 350 kilowatts, these stations. Um, you're going to talk about, you know, th those demand charges becoming exorbitant and very much undercutting Electrify America's opportunity to, you know, even break even really, let alone uh, make a decent profit. Moving on to local examples, um, you can start to see a, um, a balance of, uh, you know, what people expect to be charged for DC fast charging. Bizarrely, we're a per minute state on Electrify America's network but there are plenty of examples where uh, local charging uh, stations will charge per kilowatt hour for utilities and only certain exceptions but there seem to be enough of them that uh, shouldn't be too hard or too long to expect that uh, Electrify America will successfully lobby and be able to use per kilowatt hour pricing in Massachusetts in the not too distant future. So one up in Wakefield was actually where we filmed one of the Coffee and kilowatts asking uh, the best way to do a pricing model. Should it be per kilowatt hour? Should it be per minute? That was back in May. And I think we've had that question answered pretty quickly. About 75, 80% of the respondents want on that wanted uh, per kilowatt hour pricing. The only uh, question mark being whether we have some kind of idle fee at the end or a slower charging fee or a parking fee. There's another one locally in um, Amesbury, just on the New Hampshire border, which is 24 cents per kilowatt hour. And then we have one, again, north of us in Boston here, uh, in Lawrence, Massachusetts, which is 30 cents per kilowatt hour. So that seems reasonable. That's also in line with Tesla's uh, charge of uh, 28 cents per kilowatt hour in states where they're allowed to charge that. So we angle around, you know, somewhere between 25 and 30 cents per kilowatt hour. It's only one cent less at the top of that than uh, Electrify America's rate of 31 cents per kilowatt hour. But again, you do have to factor in that $4 a month membership fee. Hey. Jumping over away from Massachusetts to uh, New York, we have Evolve New York. Um, some of the stations that have gone in already, I'll put it up. We did uh, a quick session on one of the EV Connect stations at the Mario Cuomo, formerly Tappan Zee Bridge. Uh, the, those that are already on the th throughway are either free or have been uh, priced at $0.30 cents per kilowatt hour. So again, very consistent with what we're seeing around here locally and on uh, Tesla slash Electrify America. Some of these 150 kilowatt locations, such as LaGrangeville and the new ones that are going in around a bunch of places that hopefully will have Evolve New York sites in the near future, 
will be 35 cents per kilowatt hour. So that's on the higher end. We do start to see pricing creeping up there to uh, something that people might start to moan about. But again, these are you know very areas where there's very few options. There's not a whole lot of choice across uh, New York State, certainly upstate, when you're uh, looking at DC fast charging, and these are 150 kilowatt connected networked machines. So that could be the future. Certainly on the Evolve New York network, that seems to be the initial price that they're going to go with after the introductory trial period. Slightly odd um, example up in Maine, where the efficiency main uh, state level diesel gate funds got spent very effectively, you know, it really does bridge the gap. I know some of the people watching the channel have come down from Canada in better times and been able to use those charge stations. But Maine has a uh, pretty reasonable rate on the first surface of it uh, for energy of 18 cents per kilowatt hour at its stations. But then uh, you have to factor in a 15 cents a minute parking fee a lot of these places so it seems to be the worst of both worlds in some ways i mean the per kilowatt hour rate is good but the 15 cents makes it you know right up there with the uh, amounts that we've been discussing plus it's per minute so if your vehicle is charging slowly because it's cold or rapid gate you're incurring the time-based penalty and you're not getting the energy in quick enough that you are being charged for it so not so much sure that we really want to go with that example, but a parking fee is an example of something that could be introduced, you know, as people get past an hour, an hour and a half, whatever the time is, to uh, incur, you know, extra penalties for hanging around. This is just uh, my local findings, the things uh, than the pricing that I have seen in the Northeast here as well as uh, you know some of the tests that we've managed to do on the Electrify America pricing as it is in this new per energy versus per minute format. So uh, what do you pay if, uh, if you have fast chargers near you? Are you getting any of these things for free? Are they introductory periods or like some of the ones around here just confusingly fast charging for free? Do you think something in the region of 30 cents per kilowatt hour is fair for fast charging? Are you happy to pay more than that because we need more fast chargers and this business model needs to prove itself um, or do you think it should be closer to utility rates to, uh, of early adopters should we get fair prices and should we be maintaining that advantage that electricity in any case whether it's at home public level two or even up to dc fast charging that it should always be cheaper than gas and the series is much better when everyone uh, weighs in in the comments so please let me know what you think I'm looking forward to having a discussion down there and seeing if we can group think our way to some kind of uh, equitable per kilowatt hour rate. Until then, thanks for watching, enjoy your coffee, and I'll see you in the next one.